Hey guys, it's the Luna Brick here with another video review. This time it's over the uh, Lego Star Wars Micro Fighters Series 3 TIE Advanced Prototype. Now I actually just picked this up yesterday, mostly because I uh, really wanted the minifigure in this and I thought the little uh, TIE Fighter looked cool. So uh, real quick, I'll show you the uh, box and then I'll get into the uh, set itself. So here is the box. Nothing too uh, fancy or amazing on here. Shows the uh, TIE Advanced, the minifigure, um, some planet, maybe Yavin or something, or Indoor. Uh, shows the uh, flick fire missiles that the uh, set has, and um, an explosion over here. 93 pieces, Series 3, Disney. Basic, basic stuff. On the top, we have the, uh, tie f um, the TIE Fighter Pilot which I always thought the TIE Fighter Pilots looked really cool. Nothing else on the other sides of the box, really. Um, on the back, we get, again, um, the set showing the flick fire missiles, again, right there. All of uh, this series, um, which has the uh, X-Wing, Snow Speeder. I don't know the name of that because I have not seen the Rebels show. <laughs> Um, the TIE Advance, which you have right here, Kashyyyk, uh, Wookiee Vehicle, and a uh, Walker. So, and again, we have that in the top corner. Again, I don't know the name of that vehicle because I have not seen Rebels, but I will probably get that eventually just for the uh, minifigure itself. But yeah, there's the uh, box. Nothing too fancy. So now I'll show you the uh, set and the one minifigure that comes with it. So here is the one minifigure included with the set, which is a... Uh, TIE Fighter Pilot, or just an Imperial Pilot. He looks really, really, really cool. He comes with a little tiny blaster. That's okay, though. He's a pilot. He's not meant to be fighting on the ground. He has uh, some really nice front prints, which are kind of hard to see because, again, it's all in black, but they look really nice, and they look appropriate with uh, a belt and um, wire tubes right there, prefer probably, like, for air or something. And then they have, he has back printing, which is pretty simple, but it looks cool. He has a really, really cool looking helmet. I really like how the gray looks on here, as well as the imperial symbols he has on the top of his head. I also like how they have printing on the crest right here. That looks cool. My one thing, though, is I don't know why the back of the helmet is open. I don't know, that just looks kind of weird to me. I don't know if I really like that. But, um, yeah, it looks cool. And underneath his mask, he has just a basic basic uh angry looking face with no uh back printing on that or dual printing but uh yeah that's basically all there really is to him it's a uh, tie fighter pilot pretty simple but he looks really cool now onto the actual set now this is the first of the uh micro series that i've actually gotten so i didn't really know what to expect when i got this but this vehicle is pretty nifty i really like how it looks um, it just looks really appropriate and just looks really, really neat. Um, it's all in gray, black, and dark gray, which looks appropriate and looks really nice. Uh, the only real posability on this is you can bend these. So if you want, I guess, you could have it be a normal TIE Fighter if you just fold them out if you want them. But, uh, you're supposed to have them bent in. Which, it's simple but looks good, and like I said, there is flick fire missiles, although I've never been, I've never really cared for them. I, I don't feel like they're that good, but yeah, there. You just push them on the uh, back, and it shoots. It comes with two of them, and that's, uh, that's really the only play features at all on this. It has three printed pieces which is always nice i expected these two to be stickers but it has these uh cool side panelings on both sides which look really nice I, I thought those would be stickers for sure so it's cool to see a printed piece and we get the very classic uh tie fighter starship whatever you want to call it front which looks uh really really cool now the cockpit just seats one minifigure comfortably and it looks it looks goofy and it looks silly but it works. You can fit him comfortably in there. And yeah, that's 
that's really about all there is to this. For ten dollars, uh, there isn't a whole lot to it, but it looks really, really cool. My one thing though is I don't know why this is on the back. I I really don't know. Uh, I'm new to the micro vehicle line, but maybe this has something that it's supposed to do, but uh, I I don't know why that's there. I I don't really know. Maybe it's supposed to be like a thruster or something. I I don't know, but hey, it's there. Um, and there's the back, by the way. I don't know if I showed the back or not, but yeah, there is the uh, the set and of course the box. So overall, for ten dollars, I think it's worth it because it's a really cool looking set, and you get a lot of really nice pieces to have, like just a lot of really cool pieces in here and a cool minifigure. It, it's a really cool set. I dig it. I like it. I'll probably get more of the Micro Fighter series because uh, I really find a lot of charm in how this looks, like a chibi version of the vehicle. I think it just looks good. I think it just looks cool. So, yeah, expect more of these in the future. So, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Deeply appreciated. Till next time.